be surprised to all of you. Our topic for today is about why Jesus has a lot of miracles and Prophet Muhammad has none. Let's watch this. Hello? Yes, my friend, I saw your text. You want to call me? This is Christian Prince with you. You are live on air. Yes, can you hear my voice? CP? Yes, yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Yes, I am a, I am Muslim from Indonesia. All right, you are welcome. What do you like to say so, to us? Uh, I'm sorry if my, my English is not so well. I want to ask, what's the topic actually? Well, we are talking about how why Jesus have all those miracles in the Quran. What is the point of those miracles? Why Jesus don't have a father? Why Jesus don't uh, don't die like the rest of a human being in the Quran? He is until now alive. Why he can make the blind see? Why he can resurrect people from death? Why he can tell you what you hide in your houses? Why he can heal the leper? Why he can heal any disease? Uh, why nobody can hurt him? Uh, what uh, and the opposite happened to Muhammad? Muhammad can do none of those. What do you think? I think uh, it is normal actually. For for example, Jesus can uh, raise up uh, the dead people. It is normal. I mean, it's not, uh, it's... so many so many miracle also in our life happen. Hmm. So I think it is normal. It's normal. So so why why Muhammad yes. don't have this normal thing? As long as it's normal. When the last time you Muslims you heard that there's a guy he can raise people from death, and he is a Muslim. Yes, we can we can see in the old Te old Te testament, Elia or what's the name? Uh, you see, you are changing the topic. I'm talking about Islam. Oh. Does the Quran mention that Elia he did that? Does the Quran mention anyone beside beside Jesus did that? No. So you are trying to avoid answering the question by saying, okay, there is someone he can do that. This is another question. In Islam, no one was able to do that save Jesus. Why only Jesus, not Muhammad? So once again, what is your question? In Islam, in Islam, if there is any other person in Islam, can raise people from death, can make the blind see, can tell you what you hide in your houses, he can create from the mud the bird and breathe into it and make it living creature flying light now in the sky. He is alive until now. He is in the sky, and he is born without father. If there is anyone, he have all those things or even one of them in Islam. Okay, I admit that miracles, but uh, we can, uh, the fact... This is another question, my friend. Miracles, my friend, this is another question. We cannot see anymore now. No, this is another question. Only like a, no, 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 no. This is, this, is, this is not the question. You are not listening. Why Muhammad don't even have one of them? Okay, one by one. Jesus make the blind see. Can Muhammad make the blind see? No. Jesus, he tell you what you hide in your houses. Can Muhammad tell you what you hide in your house? No. Jesus can create from the mud the bird, and he breathe into it, he make it living creature. Can Muhammad do that? No. Jesus can give eyes to the blind, Muhammad cannot. Jesus can say, make the one who cannot walk, walk, Muhammad cannot. Jesus, he have no father, Muhammad he have. Jesus, he never commits sin, even the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19, call him as a holy son. Muhammad is a sinner, as the Quran quote in him, in, we forgive to thee your past sin and the one to come. Jesus right now is alive in heaven and Muhammad is dead. This is all about Jesus and he is just a prophet. Go ahead. Can you give me time to speak? Sure, go ahead. Okay, uh, every prophet has different miracles. For example, Jesus can raise up uh, dead people and Moses can, uh, can, uh, can make the Red Sea become uh, join or become disappear. So many... So every prophet has different miracles. Mm. So the miracles of uh, Prophet Muhammad, what mm. I, what we can hear for from our Ustad, mm. just for example, the scientific miracle in the Quran. Even you are objective, even you, even you were objective regarding that miracles. But I can say that the miracles of Prophet Muhammad, for example, is the scientific that Jesus do, did not have. I did not. I lost you. What? What is what is the last thing you say? Hello. Jesus. Yeah. Hello, hello. Can you can you hear my voice? Yeah. The last thing you said. What the last thing I you said? I admit that Jesus have many. Okay. Miracles. Okay, I will go with you, my friend. What what's your okay. name? What's your what, what's your name? If so, I may call you. You don't have to give your real name. It's up to you. But give me a name so I can call you. Uh, my name is Budi, Budi, Indonesian, Budi. Budi, okay. Mr. Budi, listen. You said that in the Quran there is scientific miracles. Did you say that? 
Yes, of, yes, right. Okay, I I have a challenge, a friendly challenge. Don't take it as an offense. In front of everybody, we have more than a thousand people listening. If you can show me okay. one scientific miracle in the Quran, you are my hero. Choose anything you want. Go ahead. Okay, you mean uh, you ask me to give me one example? Yeah, you know, because I, I say, I say, I say, this is a big fat lie. Your stars, they say to you, it's a lie. It's a big fat lie. Not only a lie. It's a big fat and it's my duty to prove it's a lie. And look what happened now. I am giving you open opportunity. Choose anyone you want. And I will prove it to you that it's a fraud. Okay, I, I, I will take one example, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, if only you will object it, I will take from the uh, time relativity of the Einstein that uh, I can say it is already already told in Quran and then mm -hmm. 1,400 years in the back, Einstein copied it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, one hundred more than 1,000 years. What verse we are talking Muhammad, about? Uh, uh, what, what verse we are talking about? Time relativity, I mean. In the Quran. Okay, where where is that? Where? In Al Marij, I think I'm not op open the Quran. For example, in Al Marij, I have four, I no, think. No, I want you. I want you to search Google for what they say to you, and I want you to uh, read for me what they are saying, so to be sure that you are not quoting wrongly. Is that in chapter twenty? I, is that I, in is that in chapter twenty two, yeah, verse number forty seven? Al Marij, I think. Ayat number four. Which which verse? No, I'm not. Which verse? Let's say that that one year, that one day of our life will be fifty thousand year of the malaika. I think. No, you so see, it is a kind of time relativity. Okay, hold on. You see, here actually, you just to prove to us that you do not know what are you talking about, and the Muslims are just fooling around. This is in chapter twenty-two, verse number forty-seven. تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة. Here this is about judgment day, and according to the Quran, actually, uh, uh, the judgment day uh, will be in the judgment day. The angels will take him fifty thousand years to go to heaven. But look what happened now. Okay. All right. I don't know if you are aware that the Quran mentioned that the angels take. Take them. Yes. One thousand years to go to Allah. Is it true? Yeah. Now I, I do not uh, bring my my note. So what I remember, there are two ayat saying regarding time right. relativity. Number one. All right. Is is what you. Okay. But what you have just. Okay. Uh, okay. One. All right, oh my friend, my friend. What, how, how time and reverity is about? First of all, in the Bible it says that one day for us, one day for God is one thousand year for us. This is in the Bible, long time before Muhammad. Secondly, what does this have to do with time reverity? Are you saying that Allah He have time? Are you saying that Allah really He have fifty thousand years? Do Allah have time? Do, do Allah live inside time? Do Allah live? Wrong, I think, Siti. Can I can, can I say what is your wrong? Okay, go ahead. Yes, in the Bible, I, I know in the Bible that it is saying in the three Peters in the three, three Peter maybe I had four I don't know <coughs> saying also in the Bible that mm. one day mm. will be one thousand year in the Allah days. You see that ayat do not have any movement, no movement. What indication move? on that ayah? What movement? What does that mean? Movement? What you, movement? Like this, like this city. For example, if you read again the time relativity of Einstein, hmm. you will see all the variable. It is t1, t0, and then speed of light, and then speed of the malaikat of or speed of the object. Okay, let's see. You see on the almat. Okay, hold on. If you see al number four, the speed of the the, the speed of the that. angels, the speed of the angels. What is the speed of the angels? The speed of the angel that is the fee. If you know it's, the it's equation what? of the time relativity, it's, you know it. it what what, what is the speed? Ayah, what is the speed of the angels? Once again. Okay, I, I will I will tell you slowly. Hmm. If you see that ayah that saying one day of hour will be fifty thousand year, hmm. you see on that ayah. Then hmm. the malaikat raise up 
rise up mean there is a movement because of high speed movement then there is a time relativity why ah, because the, of the movement ah, okay force. okay hold on okay ah. so there, guys there is okay there, yeah. okay, okay there, because there is a movement okay i want to go with you when muhammad he went to the heaven he took with him jibril how many thousand years took jibril to go to allah heaven you see, I'm going with your I'm going with your story, and now you are getting your prophet busted. You are the one who said the angels will take them one thousand year in one place, fifty thousand years in another place to go to heaven. Now we have Muhammad who claimed he went to heaven in a few hours and he came back and in the way he stopped even in Jerusalem and he prayed there. So how many hours it took the Mister Relativity Angel who go in his speed, which you said fifty thousand years? will take him to go just to heaven one way. How the same angel he was able to go with Muhammad for a few hours, the mic is yours. Yeah, I think it is very clear, yeah, if you if you have uh, any education in the senior school, it already taught by our teacher that in the special relativity. I think it is, it is, it is. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, you are changing the topic. You see, you are not answering. You are the one who said to me, it takes them 50,000 years to go. And this is about relativity of time. Wonderful. It takes them how long? 50,000 years to go. 50,000 years just to go, which means to come back. They need 100,000 years to come back. Okay. Muhammad, he went up to heaven with his angel Jibreel in the top of a donkey. It took them, and that's for sure the, the angel is not riding the donkey. Uh, he have wings. Uh, it took them a few hours to come back, to go and to come back, which means like a maximum yeah. of, of, of eight hours. So how yeah, it is 50,000 years, it became a few hours. What happened? Go ahead. It is like the city, even you will not agree with me, but let me inform you, even you will not agree. It is like this part. Mm. Pa, pa in Bahasa mean, sir, yeah? Okay. So uh, there are two ayat in uh, Quran. That is uh, one first saying 50,000 years. Hmm. In in other ayat, it's saying one hundred one thousand years. Correct. You know, it is not the time. If you know the time relativity equation, it will tell that it is only telling about the speed. So in that two ayat. No, 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 it's, no, 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 you, no, no, no. You see, now you are trying to 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 hide what you just said. It's recorded, my friend. You are the one who said it's about the movement. They are in movement, not as just a speed. It's in movement. So the angels are moving. Who is the one who is moving? The angels, correct? So the angels are moving, yeah. and those angels, when they move, it takes them 50,000 years to go to Allah heaven. That's wonderful. So the angels in the move, you are the one who mentioned the word movement, not me. So don't throw it away. So they are moving from point A to point B. Point B is in the heaven of Allah. Point A is in the earth. It takes them 50,000 years to go, 50,000 years to come back. This is 100,000 years. How Muhammad was able to do it in a few hours? Go ahead. I think you are wrong, sir. You are wrong. How? It's not taking 1,000 years, not taking that, that much time, not taking 50,000 years, but it is talking regarding the speed, not talking regarding the time. No, no, it's talking, no, it's taking 50,000 years. Read it, my friend, read it. Here we go. It says, he rules all affairs from the heavens on, on, to the earth, and the end, all the affairs will go up to him in a day. In a day, the day for who? The day for Allah. Space will be, will will uh, where for will be as a thousand year in your timing. This is the verse about one thousand. The other verse it says fifty thousand. Either one is a, is a problem because if it's one thousand to go, that's mean one thousand to come back. If it's fifty thousand to go, no. it's fifty thousand. My friend, it says the verse is speaking about what? It's speaking about the angels going up to heaven. Yes or no? Yes, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, I, so, so okay. So what 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 accomplished? What accomplished? No, no, no. There's accomplishment in this time. It's not just only about time is passing. They are moving, and this movement will take them fifty thousand years of our time to go up to heaven. Correct? Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. So, took them fifty thousand years of our time. When Muhammad he went up to heaven and he came back. And his wife, she did not even notice that he left his bed. That is our time or the time of Allah? CP, I will revise again. I will revise all, I, I will remind again. 
that on that two ayat, that 50,000 year and 1,000 year, it is not regarding time consume. You make underline, not time consume. No, it's regarding so time consume. No, it's regarding time consume because it have to pass a, a 50,000 year of our time. This is why it says our time, my friend. So one day for Allah is going to be a 50,000 years for us. And this is mean that day for Allah is so fast, day for us is so slow. Now I'm asking you, which which physical theory is saying what you say? I don't I care. This is the physical. Th this is the physical theory. This is the physical theory of Allah. Are you saying Allah is a stupid now? It's your God, Allah saying. It's for me. The day is so slow to the point. One day for me is fifty thousand years for you. That's mean that the Earth is going around itself so fast to the point we have fifty thousand years pass. When Allah go, no, which I is making it slow. So, no, no, Einstein. No problem with Einstein. Did, did, did Einstein? Did Einstein? Say, okay, hold on. Did Einstein taught you that when the 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 heaven when like if you go to heaven is going to take you fifty thousand years? No. Did Einstein told you the numbers Muhammad? He taught no. All the numbers of Einstein have nothing to do with the numbers of Muhammad. In the top of that, Muhammad he got himself busted by saying, you see. You Muslims, you fabricate stories to make Muhammad a prophet. But Muhammad, he fabricates story to, to make himself prophet. And he fabricated a story that he went up to the heaven in a few hours. And he came back. And he was in the company of an angel. Now the angel, in order in order to accompany if Muhammad... The cell, special relativity, it will easy to understand. Even only four hours Muhammad going Miraj, it is only regarding the speed. No problem, okay, in which speed, no problem, in the speed, my friend, okay, in which speed Muhammad was going, by Einstein or by your, by, by, by Allah's speed, which speed? Was that Einstein's speed? That you can go up to the, because, because, you, can up, you can go up to the, because, to the end of the world, to the end of the galaxies, and you come back in a few hours, is that Einstein's speed? Is that, is that possible in Einstein theory? He drove with Malaikat, he drove with Malekad, Malekad uh, fabricated by Allah using the... My friend, you are the one. Look, 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 guys, look at this. Aren't you the one we are talking about the speed of the angels from the beginning? You, okay, he is with the angels, so he have, he cannot pass the speed of the angels because they are the ones taking him. The angels take them 50,000 years to go. This is the speed of the angels. It's mentioned in the Quran, and you are the one who quoted the verse. So the I angels think, taking 50,000 years to go. That's physical teacher. Lah. You know, what, you what? No special relativity. What, what, what physical special relativity? What physical special relativity? Listen. Is okay, hold on. Assume. Do the angel, can the angel increase that speed? Can the angel change that speed? Is it is it like a possible that he maybe change his engine? Maybe he would say, instead of fourth cylinder, he would uh, uh, 20 cylinder maybe? The Quran is giving us the speed, and you are the one who quote for me the verses. So if it's going to take them 50,000 years to go up to heaven, that's mean round the trip is going to be 100,000 years. And that is the speed. In order to measure the speed, my friend, it's very, very easy. You have, you have the speed, you have the distance, and then you have the time. So now we have the time. We don't have the distance. And we have the speed because you are using Einstein. So now even we can find out the location of Allah. And who of you Muslims no, can tell us? Yeah, because if you have the distance, if you have the if you if you have the time, and if you have the speed, we can find the distance. As simple as that. Do you know, do you know mathematics or not? So so look what you did. Now we can find where Allah located, and Allah is not. You do domain and to speak. You do you do not give me to speak. You no, I'm giving you time to speak. We are talking at the same time. Don't don't complain. Don't complain, please. You are talking and nobody stop you. I'm asking you. Is that the speed of the angels? You said yes. But only you can speak, you cannot uh, hear me. Is this, is, you, is, speak, uh, you see, here we go, start crying from now. No, I gave you time to speak and you are talking, nobody stop you. Is that the speed of the angels or not? 50,000 years, is that the speed of the movement of the angel? You are recorded, you are the, from the beginning, you said, you forgot this is about the movement. The movement, you are the one who said yes. that. Okay, who is the one is, who is the one is moving? There are two ayat, there are two object, number one is, uh, in Bahasa Urusan, Who? and one is, is the Gabriel. Okay, so the angels, okay, the angels, guys, so the angels, okay, make it simple, the angels. So the angels are going in the speed, which is going to take them 50,000 years to go up to Allah, correct? 
No, 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 no. What? No, no. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, set of time. It is not time consumed. Not time consumed. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you accept? Do you accept your prophet teaching? Do you accept your prophet teaching or you don't? Yes, yes, I'm. I'm receiving my okay. My my Muhammad teaching. Okay. Course. Okay. Do you so, accept? Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept your prophet explanation and your scholar explanation for the verse? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So if we open it right now and we will see this is about time consuming, are you going to agree and stop arguing? If I open right now, explanation of your choice. What explanation would you like me to read? Give me one. Once again. What interpretation Once you again. like me to show you in the screen so we stop arguing like kids? Because you keep saying, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to show you any interpretation of your choice, and from your choice, I will show you it's wrong. What do you say? Look how sure I am. What do you want? Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, Ibn Kathir? No, choose one, choose one. No, no, it's the scientific area. I mean, this, I mean actually, this, this is this is horrible. This is horrible that the God Allah He says because you see, because you see, you see, you see, you see. First, first of all, Muhammad is a thief, and you, are, uh, Muhammad is a thief. He is copying from the copying from the Bible, copying from the. If you go in the Old Testament and New Testament, if you go to Second Peter chapter three verse number eight, it says one day for God is the same as one thousand years of our time. So this has existed long before Muhammad. Number two, so, so that, that's mean we can. We are the one who can claim that uh, uh, discovery, not you. If you mention what I said before you, that's stupid to claim that it's you who discovered it because we mentioned this. Number one, number two, this is metaphorical. God have no time. God is out of time. There's no time for God. So if you Muslims claim that Allah have a time, that's mean Allah is a creature like us. And let me prove to you that Allah have a time. Can I do prove it to you? No, no, you're, no, you're like a preacher. Yeah, I cannot speak. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not preacher. preaching to you. I just gave you the answer which you are trying to avoid. Is it mentioned in our book before? It mentioned in your book. Yes or no? Okay, lah. Maybe next time we will. We will. No, don't tell me next time. time. Don't hang up. No, don't hang up. No, don't hang up. Is does it mean? Is it mentioned in our book before your book? Yes or no? Is it mentioned in our? Is it mentioned in our book before your book? So how you claim it for yourself? This is a copyright theft. If this is true, if this is a theory, which is scientific theory, that is a copyright theft, and you are being a thief now, like your prophet. So how you claim something is written in my book long before Islam, claiming that this is a miracle from Allah. Don't you think this is a theft? What book? What book before Quran? Uh, here we go. You, you are the one who told me, actually. You forgot. I said, I think it's Second Peter. Yes, Second Peter, chapter number three, verse number eight. That Peter do not have movement, no movement, no Mas movement. What, no, what, what movement? What, what movement? It says a day for a day for God is the same That's as day. Movement. So here you are adding the word movement. Let us see the movement. Who is the one who move in this story? Allah or the angels? You said the angels, right? Yeah. Move where between see, between? Peter. Listen, listen, no. listen, listen, no, listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Obviously, obviously, no, or, obvi obviously, you, you have a big failure and you could not prove anything. Secondly, secondly, you fail to answer. You fail to answer. You fail to answer. You, you helped me to get your prophet busted. He went to heaven in four hours and came back. How this happen? If it takes fifty thousand years, you are the one. You see, you are the one who just said. You are the one who just said movement. You are the one who said. You, listen, you are the one who said it's about movement. I I quote for you the I quote for you the verse from the Bible. You said there's no movement there, right? So movement. Okay, Muhammad he have a movement. He went up to heaven and he came back in a few hours. How it happened that the angels take them fifty thousand years? To go and fifty thousand years to come back, which means one hundred thousand years. You were wrong, pa. How I'm wrong? You explain to me. Wrong. Okay, you, explain to me how. You said, uh, my friend, my said friend. Malaikat consume fifty thousand year. I have told it is not consumed. Not okay. Consumed, according not to who, according consumed. to who not consume? According to who not consume? Shall we go and see the interpretation? Is that fine for you? Yes. Okay. Let's read again. The All right. Okay. Let us let us go, guys. Please, let us go. Please, let us go and see the the interpretation. Now he will say, I don't accept the interpretation, just wait. 
He will say, say, "Well, now I will, I will leave the debate. Uh, I, I give you time to." No, no, no. Again, regarding. No, don't give me time. Don't go. Don't go. Chapter Thank seventy. You, You're running away. Chapter seventy, verse number four. We'll go to Mika Theory. Do you accept Mika Theory? Yes or no? Before we open it. I know. <laughs> and now I know why you always claim you win the debate because you always speak yourself. You do not give chance to people to. You see, speak. guys, I don't give him a chance. Look at this coward. I am asking you right now. I'm going to show you Ibn Kathir. You're a scholar. Do you accept? Yes or no? You say I don't give you time to speak. Uh, you are a coward. You're trying to run away. You want to hang up. You want to hang up because you are getting busted. You say this is not about time consuming. Shall I open Ibn Kathir for you? Yes or no? I will, I will leave the debate now. Why you want to leave? Why? Because, because you are getting busted by Ibn Kathir? Hi, here we go, coward, you want to leave? Yeah, I, I, Guys, I don't give him time to talk and he is leaving. Why you are leaving? You are talking. I did not mute you. I did not hang up on you. I did not, I did not do anything to you. Listen, listen. Do you accept, do you accept the interpretation of your scholars? Yes or no? You, you don't mean it to speak, so I better... No, I, I'm, I'm asking you. Okay, okay be, you listen. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Coward, run away. This is Ibn Kathir in front of you. Do you accept it or not? This is not about time consuming. This is not about time consuming. This is not about time consuming. In the day the measurement were for 50,000 years, this is a fair for the day of judgment. And he says, in that day, in the day of the judgment, the chain of narration reported Ibn Abbas, etc. Hadith, authentic hadith saying the following. The angel and the ruh scanned into him in the day major were for 50,000 years. It is the day of the judgment that Allah has made to be major by 50,000 years for the disbelievers. So yes, it's time consuming. You have to consume 50,000 years. And this is what? This is authentic. And here you see the fraud of this cult. Something mentioned in my book, not even in the, in the New Testament, even in the Old Testament. Long before Islam and the God of Islam was created. And now they claim it for themselves. But even in my book, we don't say this is scientific discovery. This is stupid to say actually. Do you know that the God of the Quran, Mr. Relativity of Time, think that there is two East and two West? <laughs> two East and two West, are you sure? Yes, brother. Chapter 55, verse 17. Because the God of Islam could not explain why the sun set and rays in different location in winter and summer. He is the Lord of the two East and the Lord of two West. Do you see it? Relativity of time. Einstein. Do you see it? This is a lot of Einstein here, by the way. This is not only Einstein, this is time too. And the funny always things who is discovered is covered by Christians or Jews and the Muslim, they put it in the Quran. Yeah, and hot water is from the hellfire. Allah, he allowed the, how Muhammad explained how, how the winter is getting cold and how the summer is getting hot. The winter get cold because the heaven breathe. <laughs> Allah allowed the heaven to breathe. And the, the, the summer get hot because Allah allowed the hell to breathe. <laughs> science, science. And the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, science. Scientific miracle in the Quran. So Jesus have all the miracles from raising people from the death. He have no father. He can make the blind see. What Muhammad can do? He can tell us where the sun set and where the sun set, set in murky water. Scientific miracle of the Quran, that's what he said. And hold on, look here, here, here. There's a lie again, they, they mention. They say that the, 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 uh, the salty water and the fresh water, they don't mix, right? And they show you a picture of a river saying, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, brother. Saying that 
Read the verse, you idiot. It says they will never, ever, ever transgress. Between them there is a barzakh, barrier. Do you see it? And the word barzakh is a piece of land. Why you are lying? So the stupid God of Islam, he believed, or Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, that the salty water and the fresh water, the reason it's salty there and fresh here, because it's a miracle of Allah. He never let them mix. When the fact the salty water is the same as the fresh water. The difference is that one became rain and come back and saved in the ground, but it's coming from the ocean anyway. And yes, they mix. But here he's saying they will never transgress. You see, they which they do not, there's a barrier which they do not transgress. The Muslim, they show you a, ver, a river, a delta, where a river come and there's a current of fresh water and salty water. It takes time for the fresh water to mix because there's a current. But who said that the fresh water and salty water? There's no science says that. That's a lie. Go right now to your kitchen. Put salt in a cup of water. Or bring, uh, if you live in close to the beach, or if you're in Indonesia, you live in the beach, right? Go and get a cup of salty water, Muslims, and bring it home, and bring a cup of a fresh water, and mix them together. Let's see if they mix or not. And then you will see that they are lying to you. This is not what the science says. Here in the Quran, the God of Islam is claiming that those, they don't pass each other. They don't even touch it. There's a barzakh. What barzakh? Barzakh mean a piece of land. Chapter 50, <coughs> 55, verse number 20. As long as Ibn Kathir is open, let us see Ibn Kathir. Get you busted from there. <laughs> Liars. <coughs> I need to drink water, not salty water, fresh water. Really. So, chapter 55, verse number 20. We go here in the front of your eyes. This is Ibn Kathir, Muslim website. All right, and we read the interpretation. And now they will say Ibn Kathir is an idiot, he's a liar. He's a liar, he's paid by you, Christian Prince. He's a Jew, he's a Hindu. First of all, here the Quran made a mistake. He said that there is two seas, but the salty water is a sea, the fresh water is not. That is a stupid statement in Arabic. They are not two seas. But Muhammad, because he learned that people they dig in the ground, so obviously there is a sea, because they find water everywhere almost. So the two seas are the fresh water, salty water. Okay. One is coming from the running rivers and the one is from the ocean. Okay. It says here, he let he has let free the two seas. One is palatable and sweet, and the other one is salty and bitter. And he has set a barrier, complete partition between complete. Do you see complete? Between them there's a barrier which none of them can transgress. None of them can transgress. None. It's like having a steel between them. Meaning he has a place a barrier. A piece of land, of land between them. You see it? If you go and watch the videos of the of the fraud, the, the fraud of Islam, they make it the water touching each other, brother. Alhamdulillah, brother. Subhanallah, brother. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, brother. When the fact that Quran making stupid statement, this is the opposite of science. The stupid Muhammad, he think that salty water and fresh water, they have nothing to do with each other. Allah created salty water alone created fresh water alone, he put a barrier between them, and they cannot mix. And it says that in front of you, they cannot, none of them can transgress. Do you see it? None can transgress, which means will ever, never transgress. And then this guy says to me, the scientific miracle of the Quran. You see guys how Muslims are so desperate in finding prophecy for Prophet Muhammad? They even go as far as corrupting their own holy scriptures. They even distort any scientific findings just to provide prophecy for Prophet Muhammad. So this is when you feel lies to the emptiness that you feel inside of you. 
So anyway guys, thank you all for being in here. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to watch, like, and share my videos. Thank you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.